And poetry. Poetry is very similar to music, only less notes and more words. <laughs> and there was a Scottish poet called Rabbi Burns. Rabbi Burns to Scottish people, Robbie Burns to English people, and Rabbi Burns to Jewish people. <laughs> He'd turn up at his door and say, what is the Hebrew translation? I don't know, I'm a poet. I don't know this. Go away. Are you trick or treat? <laughs> Hebrew translation. And he wrote, he wrote poetry. He wrote a big fucking book of poetry. But one of his most famous lines is the line that you've probably all heard. The best laid plans of mice and men aft gang aglay. Meaning the best laid plans of mice and men often go wrong. And to, you know, and uh, because it's poetry, people go, oh, I know what you mean there, Robbie, yes, fucking plans, gang and a glare, fucking truckload. And being a poet, he must have observed humanity, he must have said, I see men, men make plans. These plans go wrong, go wrong once, twice, often, often the number of plans. I've seen go wrong, possible idea for a poem, aye. And then he must have turned his attention to the other animal mentioned in that line of poetry. If you think back to it, the best laid plans of mice and men. Exactly which mice plans was he really <laughs> honing in here on? The best laid ones go away, some of the worst laid ones are okay, or the, some of them get through. He was fucking off his trolley. <laughs> I see mice, they also make plans, unbeknownst to most people. They plan to get cheese. Ah, they run, they scamper. Oh, one's fallen over, no cheese today. <laughs> Oh, plan two. They've got three of them now. One's got a stick. He's going to put the stick into the mouse trap. No, he's broken a stick. What a Jesse. <laughs> plan three. Oh, they've got a flip chart now. Mm, very serious. There's a load of mice around there. There's five mice here, and they're all having a discussion. Oh, good plan, this probably. Their best laid plan, I believe. <laughs> I can just hear what they're saying. One mouse is going, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> Told you about that. What are you doing coming in here making such a fracas? Now, tell me the plan. Right, well, we drive the minis into the square. No, <laughs> piazza. Oh, it's piazza, Charlie. And we load the cheese in the back of the minis and, and we drive out of Turin during a football match. That's right. Wallop, wallop, wallop. Into the big coach, driven by William, rounding in the Alps, I'm free. And you're sitting in the back and you're not having a migraine and you're going to shut your face. <laughs> All right, Charlie. Meanwhile, back in London, the chief mouse is talking to the prison governor. Somebody has broken into my toilet. <laughs> well, I'm terribly sorry. Get on to Camp Freddy. I want Charlie Kroger giving a good going over. So if you haven't seen the Italian job, this is all meaning of the story. <laughs> but then, if you haven't seen it, you probably haven't lived. 